still alive. Hello, Monday. Across the island and around the world. This is Radio 1 with Phil Allen. Hit music with Phil Allen. Radio 1 Mallorca. Why are you so happy? It's a beautiful zippity doo da day. I'm full of energy, hope, optimism. Do you happen to know what day it is? Now, because it is Monday. What? It's Monday already. It, it already is Monday. What does that mean? I have to go back to work. Oh, I hate Monday. Suck it up. People are depending on you. Greetings. Welcome to the show. And now here to entertain you. The finest broadcaster. My favorite show. Yes! Yes! Showtime. Thanks to Sean Tilly, he's back on the air Sunday with 80s Heaven and, of course, two more classic Top 20 countdowns next Monday after the breakfast show with Richie right here from 11am. Kicking off the show today, Italo Vieira and the Wayward Brothers, that's Diamond on Radio 1 Mallorca. Hello, this is Phil Allen for Monday. Nice to be here. Glad you're there. Clear and sunny for the rest of the afternoon. Highs today, 25 degrees. Tonight remaining clear. Overnight lows down to 15 degrees. Tomorrow, another Another clear and sunny day, slightly cooler with highs up to 23 degrees. Sunset this evening is 8.56 and on the radio. This is Alona Garcia with all that on Radio 1 Mallorca. Thanks for asking, I've been doing well, everything is fine. Hey, hey, hey. Hit music with Phil Allen. Men who have had COVID can experience erectile dysfunction and some have even reported a decrease in the size of their penis. Now that's how you sell some mass. Radio 1 Mallorca. Love that tune. From Disciples featuring Bishop, that's Solid Gold on Radio 1 Mallorca. Hello, this is Phil Allen. Lots to get through in this hour. Coming up in a couple of songs, a Soul Train anthem. We'll have stand-up comedy round about 1.30 with Andy Kindler on the names of weather people in America. We'll have a flashback old school classic and we'll open the birthday file and cross live to the funeral of post-it note inventor Spencer Silver. Plus, super talented Tim Minchin and his band do a cover of Billie Eilish's Bad Guy. Quickly say hi to Carol. She's asked if I can play a song dedicated with lots of love to her great friends Sue and her husband Luis. Love you both is the message. And here's the song you've asked for. Duke DeMont, Ocean Drive, Radio 1 Mallorca. We're riding down the boulevard. This is Radio 1. Now, hotter than ever, hotter than ever, Phil Allen. That's Little Mix featuring Sweetie with Confetti on Radio 1 Mallorca. Hello, this is Phil Allen. We're going back in time with a Soul Train Anthem next. If it's a hit, it's here. Radio 1. Phil Allen. You're listening to Radio 1 Mallorca. It's stand-up comedy time right now with Andy Kindler on Names of Weather People. How come weather uh, people have weird names, weather people on TV? Storage? <laughs> Why are you over there, Mom? Andy Kindler. Here's Iman Beck featuring Cher Lloyd with Baddest on Radio One Mallorca. So you think you know baddest, baddest. You're listening to Radio One Mallorca, and with Monday's very latest Not Headline News news, let's cross now to the Not Headline News newsroom. This is Not Headline News. An artist has set up a sound system in an African desert that will play Toto's Africa for eternity. Where's that stampede of wildebeests when you really need it? Angelina Jolie's new movie is called Those Who Wish Me Dead. She wants to thank Jennifer Aniston for suggesting the title. Robert De Niro injured his leg on his latest movie. Usually the only thing he damages in his movies is his legacy. And the Friends reunion airs on HBO Max May 27th. People can't wait to watch them discuss their post-TV success as David Schwimmer listens. This is not Headline News. Phil Allen. Thank you. Here's Celeste with Tonight, Tonight. Radio 1 Mallorca. Tonight, Tonight. Phil Allen. You're listening to Radio 1 Mallorca. It is Monday, May 17th, 2021. Today we start with sad news. Spencer Silver, who helped invent the post-it note, has died. He was 80. 
we have our reporter at his memorial service right now. Spencer Silver, one of the inventors of the post-it note, has passed away. We hear he may have contracted yellow fever. People at his office thought he was a real square. He was survived by his wife, Paige. Some thought she was stuck up. The mortician wrote a small to-do list before the service so he wouldn't forget. The eulogy was read by the president of 3M, and the funeral was held at Office Depot. And finally, people attending the service were encouraged to jot down a favorite memory and stick it on his coffin. Reporting from the Post-it Note Inventor Funeral, I'm Ed Hesiv. Thank you, Ed. On this date in 1620, the first merry-go-round was seen at a fair in Philippopolis in Turkey. I'm really glad they didn't name the thing after the city. On this date in 1845, the rubber band was invented and unruly kids in every classroom in the land had a great day. On this date in 1885, the first large pieces of the Statue of Liberty arrived in New York's harbour, along with a large note written in French that said, Some is simply required. On this date in 1948, the Soviet Union recognised Israel. It took a while, as it had just shaved its beard. Nikki Reed from Twilight turns 33 today. Almost time for a Twilight reunion, don't you think? No. Not really. Derek Howe from Dancing with the Stars turns 36, 36, 7, 8. Jordan Knight is 51 today. At what point are you no longer a new kid? Should they at least be new dudes by now? Scottish-American TV host, comedian and actor The Brilliant Craig Ferguson turns 59 today. Orinoco Flo, singist Enya, celebrates her 60th birthday. Her voice has the distinction of having been in more spas and massage parlours than Charlie Sheen. I mean, what's not to love? Thank you, Charlie. Viral audio now. Are you interested in hearing an accordion-playing and super-talented Tim Minchin and his band do a cover of Billie Eilish's Bad Guy? White shirt, now red, my bloody nose sleeping. You're on your tippy toes creeping around like no one else than you. So criminal. So you're a tough guy, like a really love guy. Just can't get enough guy, just a whistle pop guy. I'm the bad time, make your mama sad time, make your girlfriend mad time, slip it to your dad. Tim Minchin, and finally, more viral comedy. Comedian Tyler Fisher does a spot-on impression of Dr. Fauci giving overly cautious advice about masks and vaccinations. I'd say even if you live alone, I would wear a mask in the house, especially in the shower, because, frankly, droplets can make the way through the drain and come up through somebody else's toilet, infecting them through the anus. Ballpark in two to five to 20 years, we can start considering reopening, but probably not. I would avoid having any fun whatsoever in the near to far future. Tyler Fisher as Fauci. Here's Afrojack to have a getter featuring Lux Tides. This is Hero on Radio 1 Mallorca. Little girl, only 17. Phil Allen. Monday hour two. Across the island and around the world. This is Radio 1 with Phil Allen. Hit music with Phil Allen. Radio 1 Mallorca. It is a beautiful Monday. I hate Mondays. How bad? How bad? What if I follow Monday home, blockade the door, and burn the house down with Monday still inside? Okay, I, I guess that's pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Can't somebody say, hey, let's be positive? Let's try to be positive. And here's a thought. You're still alive. And you're still alive. Every day above ground is a good day. What about coal miners? God, you're a dude. Maybe I'm not pretty Kicking off hour two on the show today Jessia featuring BB Rexa with I'm Not Pretty Hello there, good afternoon This is Phil Allen for Monday Clear and sunny for the rest of the afternoon Highs today, 25 degrees Tonight remaining clear Overnight lows down to 15 degrees Tomorrow, another clear and sunny day Slightly cooler Highs tomorrow, 23 degrees Sunset this evening, 8.56 And the Mallorca sea surface temperature is 17.7 degrees Coming up in this hour We'll have another Soul Train anthem Stand-up comedy around about 2.30 With Brian Regan on US Time Zones We'll have another flashback classic from the old school And in your showbiz update for Monday We're going to hear from Ricky Shoda, Christina Hendricks 
Sasha Baron Cohen and Chance the Rapper. Plus, we'll also have audio from two of the late night shows from over the weekend. Right now, the hits continue with this CRP Zeit and the brilliant voice of Sona Relay. This is Fly Away on Radio One Mallorca. Don't you see there's a light inside? Hit music with Phil Allen. The CDC says fully vaccinated Americans no longer need to wear masks. Good news for some, but for others, it's mask withdrawal. I haven't used teeth whiteners. My teeth look like corn nuts. I have a galaxy of acne scars. I better get an appointment to wax my mustache. I look like Tom Selleck. I'm wanted by the FBI. If you're suffering from mask withdrawal, talk to your doctor. They can prescribe something that will help. Yeah, you guessed it. It's from Pfizer. It's okay to take the mask off. Don't suffer alone. Put your best face forward. Radio One Mallorca. Phil Allen. Thanks for listening. This is Radio One Mallorca. It's stand up comedy time right now with Brian Regan on US time zones. I grew up in the Eastern time zone. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. Brian Regan, here's Casey Lights, Leo Stannard with Cold Lights on Radio One Mallorca. You're listening to Radio One Mallorca and in breaking Pokemon news, Target stores are going to stop selling Pokemon cards because the rising value is leading to threats to Target employees. Primetime TV isn't missing this ripped from the headlines storyline. It's Law & Order, Pokemon Division. Today's episode, Targeted at Target. What do we have? Robbery. Victim's pretty shook up. Suspect pulled a gun on him. Got away with a rare Bulbasaur. What about the Target employee? Crying on the floor like a Squirtle. Anything else? Yeah. Check out this first edition shadowless holographic Charizard. Gotta be worth a fortune. My nephew's been looking for this all year. My niece, too. Here, uh... Let me hold on to it. No, that's okay. I've got it. No, give me that Charizard! No can do, detective. This card is mine. No, 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 no! Ah! Law and Order, Pokemon Division. Things are starting to get real, people. Coming soon to NBC. Wait, is that a Pikachu Illustrator card? Give me that. Phil Allen. Thank you. Here's Nathan Dole, Anne-Marie Mostak, way too long. Radio, what my... Bill Allen. Showbiz Update. This is Radio 1 Mallorca. Here comes your Showbiz Update for Monday. Let's start with a quick rundown of the big winners at the MTV Movie and TV Awards last night. For Best Breakthrough Performance. Reggae Jean Page. For the most frightening performance. Victoria Pedretti. For Best Villain. Catherine Hall. For best duo, Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan. <laughs> For best comedic performance, Leslie Jones coming to America. This year's recipient of MTV's Comedic Genius Award is Sasha Baron Cohen. He's a comedian. <laughs> best performance in a show, Elizabeth Olsen, WandaVision. For best performance in a movie, Chadwick Boseman. For best movie, to all the boys, always and forever. For the best show, WandaVision! And here's a clip of Sasha Baron Cohen accepting his comedic genius award as basically all of his characters. Uh, I like you. Do you like me? No, I was well f***ed off with you. He was using my nan's Amazon account to buy me Julia a birthday present of some cat litter. Then me accidentally pressed on your movie, innit? Was it nice? No, it was whack. The only good bit was in that hotel room when that fly honey in the blue dress was about to be boned by Rudy Julie Andrews. And then you come in and ruin it, innit? Ali. Um, well, if it ain't Sasha Belen Cohen. I'm afraid you're gonna have to leave. Is it because I was black? No, you, you're, you're not black. You are black. Not. You're a white suburban kid who's co-opting black culture. Who is you to say that? Well, actually, I created you. You created me. That is typical white privileges, isn't it? Just like Elvis Presley claiming him created reggae. Right, listen, just go. Go, 
Thank you, MTV. Brilliant. Ricky Schroeder is trying to cancel Costco because they won't stop mandating masks. Why aren't you letting me in? Because in the state of California, in the county of Los Angeles, there has been no... And Costco... There's been no change yes, to our mask policy. Nationwide Costco has said you don't wear, need to wear masks. Actually, that's not accurate. What, what is accurate? And he wins our STFU of the Day Award. Congrats, Ricky. If they grant us that, our king. Shut up. The people in power. Shut up. They're destroying our state. Shut your pie hole. We're working here. I'm getting my refund from Costco. Shut up. I suggest everybody in California get their refund from Costco. Shut up. Give up your membership to Costco. Shut up. Shut your stupid hole. Until they remove this. <laughs> Why don't you shut up? Russia is going to send an actor and a director up to the International Space Station to film the first movie in space. Bill Maher had to cancel last Friday's live real-time show because he tested positive for COVID even though he had been fully vaccinated. The HBO cable network said in a statement that Maher is asymptomatic and feels fine. ABC has renewed the Goldbergs for a ninth series, along with The Connors, The Rookie, A Million Little Things, and Home Economics. The network cancelled American Housewife, Mixed Dish, Rebel, and Call Your Mother. Next up, more audio. Chance the Rapper said he's working on a reboot of Home Alone that might be called Hood Alone. The comedy will still take place in Chicago, but will center on two kids instead of one with a more realistic storyline. This from The Tonight Show on Friday. You are actually doing a reboot of Home Alone. Did I read that right? <laughs> I got this pitch okay. for a Home Alone reboot. Since I was younger, I always watched it and I was like, what if there was a hood Home Alone or a, or Hood Alone, if you will? And um, just, based, uh, just a little more realistic story about what happens when people try and kick it the doors at the wrong house and uh <laughs> you know <laughs> hilarity ensues i can't give you too many details but yeah it's it's one you're, you're gonna it's one kid kevin it's there's two kids but it, it, uh it's it's up for grabs you want to get in on this project yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i'm in like I'm a, ground floor i want to get in on this home let's hood, go hood alone what are we calling <laughs> hood it alone. hood alone right <laughs> down chance the rapper Last week, the Go-Go's became just the fifth all-female group to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Jungle Cruise, starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson, will be available on Disney Plus's Premier Access the same day as cinemas. Talking of Disney Plus, their subscribers rose to 103.6 million from 94.9 million in February. <laughs> The woman's hand on the iconic poster for American Beauty actually belongs to Christina Hendricks, who went on to star on Mad Men. I used to be a model, and one of the gigs I got was to go and shoot a movie poster. I had no idea what the film was, and there were two models, myself and one other, and we did different versions of her hand and her stomach and my stomach and her hand and my hand and both, and my hand made it in and her stomach made it in. It was just... A plain old gig. I probably got paid a hundred bucks or something. I was just told to have a job. And finally, here's audio from two of the weekend's late night shows. With the new CDC guidance, some businesses have dropped their mask policies, but I saw that others like Walmart are still requiring them. Yep, as of now, Walmart still requires a mask, but somehow it doesn't require pants. <laughs> Police in Florida are searching for a man who stole more than $12,000 worth of Leonard Skinner memorabilia. Wow, $12,000 worth? So all of it? <laughs> Researchers at the University of Arizona have developed a cure for bad breath in dogs. That's right, the cure can eliminate the smell for about two hours. <laughs> I wouldn't call that a cure, i call that an Altoid. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy Fallon and Michael Che. Hit music now, this is Anita, girl from Rio, on Radio 1 Mallorca. Hot girls, where I'm from, we don't... Phil Allen. I mean, what's not to love? That's it from me for today. Stick around for DV and Essential Afternoons on the way next. Des here from 6 with Monday's Drive, and I'll see you tomorrow from 1. Oh, my sweet darling. Oh, my dearest love. I'll count the hours that you're away. Bless you, Trish. Well, that's our show. It's over. What? It's over. It is over. Is that it? That's it. Everybody still awake? Will you come on already? I, I, I just can't stand these long goodbyes. All right, big finish. See you This is Radio 1 with Phil Allen. Phil Allen.
Spread the word. Uh, yeah. Hey. And the love. Radio.